Thank you, Dayton. It is so good to be home. So good. I want to start by thanking my husband, Sam, who has been with me on this journey from the beginning. Thank you to my parents, my brother, David, my sister-in-law, Emily, my niece, Abigail Nanette, and Teddy, my nephew. Thank you for that always, always supporting me. Thank you guys. And thank you to my amazing, awesome, badass running mate, Cheryl Stevens. <laughs> who is a true champion for Ohio communities. Thank you to my awesome campaign team, led by the great Brian Swardra. Thank you. <laughs> who many have been with me for these every step of the way these last 20 months. And thank you to everyone who supported this campaign. All of you who chipped in your time and money because you believed Ohio deserved better. This is obviously not the result we were hoping for. A few minutes ago, I called Governor DeWine and to congratulate him and wish him and Fran good luck in another term. Even when we don't get the outcome we hope for, it's vital that we respect our democracy. Now look, this is a tough night. I'm not going to stand here and sugarcoat things. I'm disappointed, and I know you are too. And after a tough like, loss like this, you might feel like giving up. And hey, no one would really blame you. There's a lot that's pretty broken about Ohio and our whole country. And there's a lot that's not. I stand before all of you and every little girl watching this at home as the first woman ever nominated for governor in the state of Ohio. <laughs> I sure as hell know I won't be the last, no matter how. No matter how hard the good old boys in both parties and the media try to hold us all back. Despite trailing in every single poll, we raised millions of dollars. Not from special interests looking to call in a favor, but from nearly 30,000 everyday folks willing to chip in a few bucks to make their state a better place. I traveled to every single county in this state, all 88 of them. And when I met folks who didn't agree with me on everything, we could agree that every community and family deserved real opportunity. Despite a broken state government and politicians working to divide us, it's still clear to me that we have more in common than not. We're going to hear from folks that it's time to write off Ohio as some backwater where extremism is just the way things are. But I refuse to accept that. I've said all along that you've got a choice, Ohio, and that's still true tonight. You can accept the status quo in our state. You can accept the extremists who have rigged the system and the state house, and you can accept decline. Or you can keep working for something better, even when you get knocked down, because our families and our communities are worth it. We can keep working for an economy that works for every Ohioan, whether you live in Dayton or Cleveland Heights or Marietta. We can keep working to root out the rampant corruption that we know has infected this state house. And we can keep working to pass common sense gun reform and make all of our communities more safe. We can keep working to raise the minimum wage, to pass universal pre-K, and every other common sense policy that working families need in this state. And we can keep fighting for abortion rights.
because we already know what's coming our way. A complete abortion ban. A ban that will prosecute doctors, subpoena medical records, and kill women. Ridiculous. But we still have the power to stop it. Since Roe was overturned, I've said we need to take this issue directly to voters with a ballot initiative to codify abortion rights in the Ohio State Constitution. Yeah. That starts now. <laughs> if you care about the future of this state, we need you in this fight. Tonight, we can mourn this loss, but tomorrow, we get back to work. The last 20 months have been filled with the highest of highs and some of the lowest of lows. And while tonight wasn't the high we had hoped for, I still believe in Ohio. I still believe that our citizens deserve better than what they're getting. And I believe in the people of this state to get us there. I'm going to keep fighting for Ohio, and I sure hope you all will still join me. Thank you so very much.